this problem is about getting the rate expression of reversible reaction. Let us read the problem statement. For the reversible first order reaction, A giving rise to R and R giving rise to A, starting with pure A, kinetic experiments in a batch reactor give 58.1% conversion in 1 minute and 65 degrees Celsius, 165, yeah, 58.1% conversion in 1 minute at 65 degrees Celsius and 60% conversion in 10.1 minute at 25 degrees Celsius. So otherwise, we have kinetic experiments carried out at two different temperatures. So we have conversion versus time at one temperature and conversion versus time at another temperature. Using this, determine the rate expression for the reaction. We are given with delta G data at 298 and delta HR data at 298. Additionally, CP of feed and the product are also take, given as constant. Okay, now, so this what is needed is, uh, for uh, of course we can write for the first order reversible reaction, this minus Ra equal to K1 Ca minus K2 Cr. So always we have this expression. What is needed is we need to get K1 and K2, K1 and K2 as a function of temperature. That we can get because at two temperature data we have uh, the conversion data. So using that we can get K1 and K2, K1 and K2 as a function of temperature. As assuming Arrhenius relation for the rate constant. Okay. And using the data of delta G and delta HR, we can also get the connection between K1 and K2. Always with uh, what are all we are going to get K1 and K2 and K1 and K2 are in turn having two constants K1 equal to K1 naught plus uh, K1 naught sorry K equal to K naught into E power or is it exponential of minus E by RT. So what are all the things K and K naught are always for a small one K1 say one for a given rate constant we need to have E as well as K naught. So for this with one data, this with two data, we need to get what is it? Four values for K one two values for K two two values. What are they? For K one K naught and E. For K two there is also K two naught and E two. Okay. So that's why we have this. Uh, Okay, always in addition to kinetics, we also have thermodynamic data. Now, from thermodynamics, we know this capital K is the ca concentration of R at equilibrium and concentration of A at equilibrium, uh, which is products by reactants no? at that time. And uh, Cr at equilibrium is Cr0 plus Ca0 into Xa equilibrium. Uh, we are also given with there is no, uh, always what is it? starting with pure A, only A alone is present, so because of that CR0 is taken as 0, so we have simply C K equal to XAE by 1 minus XAE, what is it? Equilibrium conversion and K are connected now and from mass balance we can write minus R equal to K1 CA minus K2 CR, uh, already we know this uh, CR is simply CA0 into XA that is CR is CR0 plus CA0 XA. Since CR0 is 0, we have the simple way. Now, at equilibrium, that is this is going to be 0 and uh, we will be having XA will be simply equal to XAE. So now, we have the connection between K1 by K2 and XAE. Now, we can simply match this equation 1 with uh, 3, so always the left hand side, right hand sides of equation 1 and 3 are the same, which indicates that capital K is equal to K1 by K2. Okay, now uh, we, we can ha get the value of capital K evaluated from using the thermodynamic data. So, from thermodynamics, we know delta is G equal to minus RT ln K. So, delta G at 298 is available. 
and uh, k you can get at 298 okay that is uh, simply delta g equal to minus rt ln k so ln k will be available take a exponential of that you'll be getting k so k is available at one temperature you can also get the k at other temperature so what is the need for this k at 298 of course that is a data experiment at 25 degrees celsius we also need k at another temperature say 65 degrees celsius for that of course we can make use of this data again so before that let us uh, get the relation between uh, what is it at least we need to we, we need to make use of the kinetics data which is nothing but conversion versus uh, time data so for that again we are going to the rate expression so this is coming from this rate expression to risk simply uh, we are getting this rate expression in the rate expression we can write this k2 in terms of equilibrium conversion using the connection between k1 and k2 and k and equilibrium conversion so now we have only the nice expression dxa by risk xa as a function of time is available of course k1 is a constant xa is also a constant at a temperature so what we are doing at constant temperature we are doing this and uh, so integrating this uh, dxa by always xa as a function of time is available and you can x uh, integral of always dxa by xa e minus xa is equal to um, what is it yeah we'll be having this minus ln xa e minus xa 0 to xa so in put the integration limits and we have this nice integrated expression okay keeping this aside now we can also get k at another temperature because we have two reaction temperatures so we need we can get the value of k at the other reaction temperature of 65 degrees celsius or is 338 kelvin so before that we need to check or is to make use of this expression or is this delta h r is to be a constant should be a constant delta h r at t1 and also delta h r t2 uh, are to be the same then only this expression is valid uh, here it is coming so because delta h r at 25 degrees celsius is given as 75 uh, minus 75 300 joule per mole and additionally we are also given with cp of a so always cp of uh, uh, the feed and the cp of the product are uh, constant no the cp of a and r are constant because of that what happens this delta h at one temperature uh, is also equal to delta h at other temperature always simply delta h at uh, one temperature equal to delta h r sorry i will write here delta h say at a temperature of t equal to delta h at 298 uh, plus ncp delta t of products minus reactants since the always i will write it here better delta h of one temperature equal to delta h say at 298 plus uh, sigma ncp of products minus reactants or is this is ncp product minus reactant and delta t and here this uh, since the products and reactants have the same specific heat this term will be simply zero this so because of that this delta h r at any time any temperature is equal to delta h at 298 kelvin so because of this uh, condition we are uh, this equation is valid now now so we are using that to get k at the another temperature of 338 kelvin that is 65 degrees celsius is available now so at least so far what are all available at 65 degrees celsius it is given that xa equal to 58.1 percentage at one minute and additionally at 25 degrees celsius for a conversion of 60 percent time record is 10.1 minute so using this data and additional values of xa e at 25 degrees celsius and 65 degrees celsius coming from these formulas or is xa e equal to k by 1 plus k k at two values are available so using that k at uh, xa e at two values are obtained now now so what is the need for this or is 
to use this to use in this expression uh, we need xae data so we are going to use this equation now so what is uh, what are all available we are given with at six at 25 degrees celsius the conversion of 60 percent is needing a time of 10.1 minute so uh, we get this value of k1 what is the rate constant forward rate constant at one temperature is available likewise forward rate constant at another temperature is also obtained using these two values of k we can get this activation energy as well as the erroneous what is it the uh, pre-exponential factor what is it k naught so there are two unknowns we have two values of k at uh, at least we have k at two temperatures we are going to get k naught and e so we can make use of this we can simply take a ratio of k at one temperature by other temperature so from which we can get e that is activation energy that is obtained and using this one uh, using the value of e at any temperature we can get k naught so because k1 is known and t1 is also known and uh, this value is available so now we can get the pre-exponential factor of Arrhenius expression so now the expression of k1 mm, is available now we can use the equilibrium constant relation what is it the k1 by k2 is also coming to equal to k the k value is already available at two temperatures so from which we can get the k2 value at two temperatures so k2 value at one temperature and likewise k2 value at the other temperature is also available simply from the relation of k1 uh, k2 and k now what we are going to do again as like uh, here we need to get uh, the value of uh, this pre exponential factor the pre exponential factor and the activation energy so using the two values of k small k we are getting k2 naught and the e2 okay so they are obtained so the simply the summary is so the rate expression is simply this one with k1 as a function of temperature like k2 as a function of temperature okay let me have a quick summary or reca recap of what is done we are given with kinetics data or is at two temperatures and additionally we are also given with the thermodynamic information delta g at one temperature and delta hr at one temperature using delta g at one temperature we are getting uh, k at uh, 298 and since this delta hr is remaining constant because of this information we could get k at other temperature simply from the ln what is the formula the formula is simply ln of k2 by kr equal to sorry k2 by k1 equal to delta hr so this is uh, now k at risk there are two values of capital k there is a equilibrium constant and from kinetics we have two uh, values uh, or is k or is the rate constant evaluated at two temperatures for each and every rate constant we are getting this pre-exponential factor and activation energy by assuming Arrhenius expression okay the summary is the final answers are available as minus ra as a function of concentration as well as temperature okay Thank you.